here's a live look at South Padre Island from Beach Park at Isa Blanca. We are definitely dealing with a bit of cloud cover across our coastal areas, but of course, humidity is going to play a factor in how hot it feels. So if you're heading towards the beach for the next several hours, we are expecting mostly sunny conditions with the high temperature up to about 87 degrees, but it's going to feel close to around 96, 98 degrees for our coastal areas, especially South Padre Island. And then mostly clear and then overnight lows dropping into the low 80. Surf temp is at 81, bay temp at 86. Rip current risk is fairly low, so we are definitely dealing with some calm conditions. But for areas inland, that heat index is going to play a factor on the sweltering conditions and how miserable it feels outside. We are expecting that heat index to range between 104 by the 3 p.m. hour. This is for Harlingen and in the lower valley, but of course the upper valley feeling as hot as up to 110. But fast forward to the weekend, we are expecting Saturday and Sunday to be quite hot with high temperatures in the upper 90s. We could actually teeter between 100 to 101 degrees as we go into the weekend with feels like temps up to 105 to 110. So unfortunately, those the heat, the sweltering heat, not going away anytime soon. So you want to practice those heat safety measures if you're finding yourself outdoors for some prolonged period of time. As far as the latest drought monitor, we are still in good standing in terms of the U.S. drought index. We are definitely expecting those dry conditions uh, just the north of us there, but the rest of the state dealing with that drought coverage there. We have an area of high pressure that is building in from the east. This is going to be condition keeping conditions hot, humid, and quiet, and this is going to be slowly moving off closer towards uh, across Texas there in the coming days, and we are expecting those highs to remain in the 90s and hundreds, overnight lows in the 70s and 80s there as uh, those sweltering temps are going to be a bit hotter from central Texas to north Texas there as that high slowly just lingers across the area through the rest of the week into the weekend. So we are definitely not letting up in terms of how hot it feels outside. We're going to keep those sunny conditions. We could see a stray shower or two for our coastal areas, but other than that, uh, just remaining quiet. Of course, Hurricane Bonnie in the Pacific Ocean as a category two hurricane that is moving off towards the west at a 12 miles an hour. It does have winds up to 105 miles an hour with gusts up to 125 miles an hour. As we look at the forecast to track with that system, that is expected to move off to open ocean, eventually weakening back to a category one and eventually a tropical storm, but it's not going to pose any threat to us. The good news, the Atlantic Basin looking quiet for the next five days, so no activity expected within the next few days there as those conditions are just going to remain quite calm. We do are going to see some Saharan dust. So once again, move off the coast of Africa, moving across the Atlantic Ocean, and that's going to arrive here in the valley as we head into the end of next week as uh, we are going to see those hazy skies once again back into the picture. As we look at our seven day forecast, expect those temperatures to continue being rather warm, hot and humid, mostly sunny skies for the next seven days. Lows in the 70s, so lots of sunshine, and it is going to be feeling likely to be one of the near the pool or in the, along the coast as we head into the weekend.